Hey friends, hope you're doing well. We actually have a pretty interesting news article about some NVIDIA GPU developments that have been going on behind the scenes and have now been published. So NVIDIA Research has been working on something that we actually have been hearing the rumors of AMD doing for a while, and that is a multi-chip module on the graphics card side of things. So the reason everybody thought AMD was doing it was because you had Ryzen, which used multiple different chiplets that interconnected, and Zen 2 is going to be something of the same. You have two different sets of cores and those connect via some interface that makes it so that you have an exponential amount of cores that communicate frequently and effectively and then you have a really big core count CPU. So that's pretty great. But you know what? We thought they could be bringing that to GPUs and you would get an Infinity Fabric GPU where it had two different GPU sections based on Navi and then you got GTX 2080 level TI performance for $300 because AMD is the winner of all things. And it turns out that uh, while we've been speculating pie in the sky, hoping for AMD to rescue us from Team Green, Team Green was like, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't we have have make that ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And so the research has come out that NVIDIA has been working on a 36 module chip with separate pockets of GPUs that all interconnect to make one really strong GPU. So obviously this is not something that is going to be coming out anytime soon because this is still on their uh, development side, but it was used on the 16 nanometer process, which is what Pascal was based on, not what Turing's based on, and it uses a few different things, such as a RISC-V CPU, and has a whole bunch of good stuff to it. So there's a scalable element to this, and it looks like that NVIDIA might be rolling this out to more data centers and high performance compute environments in the near future, if the research is any given indication and how the GPU is actually set up. But it could mean that we would have some trickle down economy effects coming to to consumer desktop graphics cards and make it so that uh, NVIDIA just kind of curb stomps AMD into the ground and everything that they once thought that they could have is no longer a feasibility because Navi is just going to be so disappointing. And then this double Turing RTX 2080 Ti times two connected thing that this monstrosity with four heads and giant amount of display ports just wrecks any hope of AMD ever seeing the light of day again. and probably is the reason why they're scared of Intel. This is NVIDIA's response to Intel, not AMD. Oh man, oh man, we've been deceived. We thought it was red versus green, but my friends, the blue team's coming in strong. I don't know why I'm getting so dramatic, but this is some pretty cool technology, even if you take out the consumer desktop side of things. NVIDIA actually making some big strides, implementing a multi-chip module solution that brings a whole bunch of GPU cores together, integrates them into something that's highly scalable and could be something that could revolutionize at least the uh, cloud computing industry. So let me know what you think of the multi-chip module setup that NVIDIA has. Let me know what you think of the possibility that AMD is going to be done away with and that Intel is going to be the reigning number two GPU champ. Keen to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this little hot news clip. Get subscribed to this hot news channel so that you can stay up to date on little exclusives and more deeper dives into the stuff that we cover on the main hot news video that's on the UFD Tech channel. Anyways, I'm Brett with this hot news channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.